Hello and welcome to another episode of Graphic Novel Gems. I'm your host Tim Mitchell and we've got a great review for you today. This is Bagheera, she's my comic book kitty and uh, she was sitting in this chair before I sat down, that's why I'm holding her. So let's let her go play. Alright, let's see what our book is for today. Today's book is called Dogs and Water by Anders Nilsson, or Nilsson, Nelson. not sure how to pronounce his name. I think it's Scandinavian. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the author. Anders Nilsson uh, grew up between Minneapolis and New Hampshire, and uh, he, his parents were divorced, and he spent time in each of those areas, and when he uh, became an adult, he decided to go to school at the University of New Mexico and ended up going, moving to Chicago at some point to go to the Art Institute of Chicago. And while he was there, oh, this is Luna. She wants to say hello. Luna, will you say hello? Come on, kitty. She's mostly afraid to be picked up, but uh, I'm glad that she made an entrance into this video either way. Uh, Anders uh, went to the Art Institute of Chicago where he uh, dropped out after a year and decided that instead of becoming a painter he would decide he he uh, fulfilled his dream of becoming a what he calls a cartoonist what I'd probably call a sequential artist and uh, I'm glad that he did do that I first found Anders Nilsson in a book called Mome Mome is a comic book anthology and uh, it was published seasonally from 2005 to 2009 and uh, in it, I first found Anders Nilsson. His work in it is uh, very interesting, to say the least. He's, uh, there's typically one character, and he's very minimalist, almost stick figure-like. And he has like this stream of consciousness thing that he does in there. And to be honest, um, he wasn't my favorite artist to read about in these comic book anthologies, just because his style was... Um, I don't know, I just couldn't connect to it very well. But, uh, in fact, when I found uh, his work, uh, Dogs and Water, later, uh, I did not know that this artist did that work in Mome. And uh, it was kind of interesting because I was trying to find more of his work at a comic book store in St. Louis, and uh, I was very confused when I found out that this guy did that work. It's one of those kind of things. So anyway, uh, let's talk a little bit about the book itself. Dogs and Water, it's a hardbound book, and it was published in 2007 through Drawn and Quarterly, and this is uh, uh, Anderson Nielsen's only graphic novel that he's released. He's released individual comics, he's released work through anthologies, he's done work for other uh, organizations. He's done some book covers. He did a cover for uh, a Hans Christian Andersen book and another book. And he um, and this is his only single graphic novel that he's released. It's all inclusive. There's no to be continued. It's not a part two of a two part story kind of thing. This is all you need to get. The book is twenty dollars, and uh, I don't think that there's a soft cover edition, even though Amazon.com says there is. I think it's kind of a misprint kind of thing on Amazon right now, but uh, I could be wrong. And uh, as far as the size of it goes, it's a little wider, as you can see, than a traditional uh, graphic novel, or uh, this is a trade paperback, and it's a little thicker than your average graphic novel. Um, it reads really quickly. I'm not sure exactly how many pages there are. I want to say there's a little less than 100 pages. And uh, it's all in black and white, and it's all drawn very, very um, intricately. Anders Nilsson has a very fine way that he draws. Here's some images that, I, that I've got off the internet from this book. Um, the story is about a man who has kind of a, a backpack, and on the backpack is a teddy bear, and he's traveling through a, what seems to be some sort of wasteland, and uh, we don't know what kind of wasteland he's in. Um, there's been talk on, the, on, on reviews uh, trying to figure out what kind of a wasteland it is. It is. is it, is it the, uh, the Valley of Death in the United States? Is it an Australian outback? Is it a, 
uh, uh, Siberian tundra. Uh, nobody really knows, and, and that's kind of the fun part of the, about the book, is that it uh, he never really comes out and tells you where the character is. In fact, he kind of almost jokes about not telling you where he is or where he began his journey from. The book is kind of um, broken up into little chapters where the character is no longer walking through this uh, wasteland. He seems to be um, out in the water with his teddy bear. And, uh, and there's just these little snippets, and they almost seem like dreamlike sequences. But then again, the entire book seems like a dreamlike sequence. It's just a great read. And the weird and awkward thing about uh, graphic novels is that this book only takes about 10 minutes to read in its entirety. But it probably took, I don't know, months and months for the artist to create it. And uh, it's kind of a, it's kind of the, the, it's kind of a tough thing for comic book artists to deal with. Especially like works that I think about, like Akira. In Akira, you can read you can read the entire six huge tomes of Akira in probably of just a few hours. But the time that it took to make that book took forever. And the same thing probably goes for this book. There's these great intricate drawings that you can see from panel to panel, and uh, there's no words, so your eyes just zoom right through it, and you you know instantly what's going on which is also a, a testimony to the artist's uh, sequential storytelling. Not everyone knows how to tell a good story from panel to panel, but Anders definitely does. And uh, it's totally a recommendation. My friend uh, Brian and LB, I recommended this to them a few years ago, and they sat down I said, listen, this will take you just a few minutes to read. And they thought, oh, it's a comic book, it'll take hours, whatever. And sure enough, a few minutes later, they were done. They were like, that was a really interesting read. And uh, it kind of probes your mind of imagination, gets your brain stirring. I'm not going to tell you exactly what happens in it, but uh, I do recommend it wholeheartedly. 20 bucks, it's worth a pickup. I'm not sure about uh, Anders' other work, but uh, I do recommend Dogs and Water. But don't take my word for it. Trust me when I say I know the pathway to your heart. I am Superman and I can do anything. I am, I am, I am Superman and I know what's happening. Be sure to go to Facebook and look up Graphic Novel Gems and hit our like button so that you can keep contact with uh, all of our stuff on there. Also, you can uh, leave comments on the Facebook page or you can go to our YouTube account. That's Graphic Novel Gems, one word, and be sure to uh, comment there and leave your feedback. Also, I've got a uh, email account. If you want to send me a private message, you can send one to graphicnoveljems at gmail.com.